So let's now understand what is tensor. So this diagram is actually very familiar to us. We discussed it earlier as well. The only difference is that we didn't discuss this turn server thing in between. Okay. So here you can see there are two users, user A and B. They want to communicate with each other. And for that, they are going to need SDP information for which they can utilize this turn server. Okay. Which are public servers. And it's hosted by companies like Google and others. So after that, SDP information is received by both the users and exchanged through signaling server. Okay. Then we are expecting a direct peer-to-peer -peer communication but that is not the case always so what happens in some cases the direct peer-to-peer -peer communication is just not possible that means it can be due to various reasons okay uh, that the users are behind some kind of firewall okay or they have uh, asymmetric nets but what is going to happen we can still connect okay that means the audio and video call will still be possible and that is going to be made possible with the help of something called turn server and as i also told you in a previous video that turn server is going to help us when there is no possibility of connecting directly okay using webrtc then in that case what is going to happen this user a is going to send its audio or video to this turn server and this will be relaying that to user B. And similarly, when user B wants to send something to user A, that will be happening through this turn server. And also keep in mind that this turn server is just for exchanging. Okay, it's not going to do anything with the data. So that is turn server for you. And you can just summarize it like this. Turn servers are going to relay your data. Okay, band direct peer-to-peer -peer communication is just not possible. And they are also actually very important for these scenarios where devices are behind restrictive firewalls or asymmetric or symmetric nets. In these cases, what is going to happen? The direct peer-to-peer -peer connection won't be possible. So we'll have to utilize turn server. And you will find in most of the cases that these turn servers are going to work in conjunction with these turn servers. Okay. And that is going to ensure a very robust or you can say powerful way of RTC communication. Okay. So that is turn server now in the next video we are going to discuss the last thing that is called ice candidates we must understand what is ice candidate in detail okay in order to understand web rtc in depth so let's understand that in the next video